Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's take a look at an example dealing with intersection. Now remember, we can have two lines that are intersecting or we can have two planes that are intersecting. When two lines intersect, you end up with a point. When two planes intersect, you end up with a line. Now here we have a box, looks like a cube. Now of course, each box or each cube has six sides. And we can imagine that each of the six sides represents a plane. And we can imagine that the plane goes out to infinity, even though we only have lines drawn from A to B, from B to C, C to D, and so forth. Now here we have four questions. First, we're supposed to find the intersection of EF and GF. Now when we have two letters here and a line on top with two arrows, one on each side, that represents a line, and by definition, line goes out to infinity, but it goes through the two points E and F. We have another line that goes to the points G and F. So the points E and F, that would be this line right here, and G and F would be this line right here. And notice that this line should go to infinity in both directions, so should the line EF right here, and they do intersect at this point, they intersect at the point F. So therefore, the answer for number one is that the intersection occurs at F. The second question, find the intersection of the plane EFG and the plane EAB. Notice we do not have any markings on top of the three letters EFG and EAB, but we do have a word in front of it, which means that we're dealing with a plane, and any plane is always defined by three points that are not collinear, that are not on the same line. So when we look at E, F, G, they're not on the same line, and they define a plane, the side at the bottom of the box. We have another plane, E, A, B, E, A, B, which defines the left side of the box. So we have the bottom of the box, we have the left side of the box, and where the two meet, where the two intersect, and I'm looking for my red pen here, would be right here. This is where the two intersect. So we have E, F, G, so that's this plane down here. We didn't include H, we don't have to because you only need three points to define a plane. And then we have this plane here on the side, E, A, B. We didn't include F, but you can see clearly that the bottom and the side intersect along this line right here. And of course, assuming it goes infinitely this way and infinitely this way, we can then define the answer as the line E, F. And since we're looking for a line, we have to put a little arrow on top with arrows on both sides. So that is the intersection between those two planes. The third question, which points are collinear with F? So now if we define that we have the lines defined by all the edges of the, of the box. So we have here a line, there are lines. So we have the bottom one, two, three, four lines. We have four lines at the top and we have four vertical lines. So we have at least segments drawn of 12 different lines. And now, since we know that F is right here, and now we're looking for other points that are collinear with F, so if I look at this line right here, E and F lie on this line, B and F lie on this line, and F and G lie on this line. So those are the three lines that go through F, and they have each of them has another point on that line that can be defined. So which points are collinear with F? Well, we can say that E, B, and G are all collinear. We have three segments, one from E to F, one from F to B, and one from F to G, and then we can assume those to be lines when we imagine they go out to infinity in, all, in both directions, and so those are the three points that are collinear then on those three lines with F. And finally, number four, which points are coplanar? Oh, I shouldn't say which points, right? Coplanar with plane H. Oh, yes, I can say. Okay, I, that's a good question. Which points are coplanar with plane HGC? So HGC, notice that represents the plane on the right side of the box. There's one more point that is on that same plane. So D is a point that's coplanar to the three points HGC. They're on the plane on the right side of the box. So the answer for number four it is D. All right, hopefully that gives us a better feel, a better understanding of what we mean by intersection 
what we mean by coplanar, what we mean by collinear. And that's how it's done.